Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we've got Project Pearl J back in the shop. Now you may remember last time we got that Sprintex supercharger installed and we headed off to the dyno. Now we made pretty good power out of the gate, but we thought there was still room to get a little bit more out of our four liter. So today we've got a few extra goodies lined up. Now we're gonna start with a Mishimoto baffled oil catch can. Should help us take control of any oil blow by to ensure that we keep that supercharger clean and protected. Now we've also got an air intake kit from Air Raid, along with a filter breather from K&N. And finally, from Painless Performance Products, we have their perfect high velocity 62 millimeter throttle body that we're gonna swap in place of that stock throttle body. Now the Painless piece is machined from T6 billet aluminum, and it's gonna give us the largest throttle bore within the factory envelope without sacrificing any strength or durability like you would get with a modified casting. Now to go ahead and get things started, we're going to get that restrictive factory air box out of the way so we can get our new pieces bolted on. So now that we've got our sensors swapped over to our new painless throttle body, we can go ahead and do a test fit on the inlet port of our supercharger here. When we do that, you see we actually have a little bit of a problem. The electrical connector for our IAC valve is actually contacting our valve cover here. Now we can go ahead and fabricate a little bracket that will allow us to clock this a few degrees. Now spinning it around won't affect how it functions, but it will allow us to get our throttle body mounted up without any interference there. And with the new bracket, now we have the clearance we need to go ahead and get our throttle body mounted up. Now that we've got those clamps tightened up, we only have a few things left to get the install of our air intake buttoned up. Uh, namely, we need to go ahead and get our vent tube for our valve cover connected, but this particular air intake kit that we've chosen does not have a port for us to connect this hose. Now we knew that when we picked out this air aid kit for this build, but we picked it out for a very specific reason. Now this kit was actually designed for 2004 and earlier Wranglers, whereas Mike's TJ happens to be a 2005. Now we did that because this kit only replaces the factory air box and connects to the upper tube in a factory location. Now when we installed the Sprintex supercharger, it moved the location of our throttle body and Sprintex supplied a new upper air intake tube that connected to the factory air box at a factory location. Well, you bring those all together and it made this particular air aid kit the perfect choice for our buildup. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this vent tube and instead replace it with a K&N filter breather Get our IAT sensor hooked back up, and then we can move on to that oil catch can.
Now we went ahead and mounted up our Mishimoto baffled oil catch can here, right in line between the vent on the back of our valve cover, right here back behind our supercharger. We went ahead and made up a simple bracket here that just uses one of the bolts between our brake master cylinder and our booster. It's a nice, easy location to access the catch can so that we can clean it out periodically. Now what that can is going to do for us is trap any oil blow-by that's coming off the motor before it makes its way to our intake manifold, worse yet, into our supercharger. Now that's going to prevent any oil from building up and potentially damaging any of the internal components. That's also going to help maintain our fuel's octane rating by not having to have the engine burn off any spent oil, and that's going to help prevent any chance of detonation. Well, now that we got everything bolted up, we're going to head back to the dyno to see what kind of power we can put down thanks to our new air raid intake and painless performance throttle body. Cool, so we just got a couple runs in on the dyno and it looks like we actually made about 10 additional horsepower over that original 30 that we gained with just the supercharger. And we gained a few extra foot pound of torque over the original 50 as well. And that's thanks to our new air raid intake as well as that painless performance, high velocity throttle body. Now, if you wanna grab more information about all the products you saw and saw on Mike's Jeep today and check out more on the full buildup, simply click on the info button to head over to quadratech.com. I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail.